Today we're going to be looking at God's peace. What's the nature of that peace that we were promised and how do we receive that into our lives? I'm going to take you through a three-step visualization process. I'm hoping that as we do this together that uh, there might be ways in which the Holy Spirit can work directly into your lives where you are in the situations that you are facing. So the first uh, part of this process is to imagine yourself in a small boat. Now I uh, find visuals helpful so I've created some for you here. Um, imagine yourself in a small boat, just you, alone on the sea. And I want you to think for a moment, what are the things that you're feeling? How does that boat feel on that ocean of the sea of your life? I can tell you that the boat of my life feels fairly unsteady at the moment. I know the reasons for that that there are areas in my family life which are challenging. But sometimes I can feel this constant fear, this constant anxiety creeping up through my soul. And uh, you may have that for different reasons. Maybe financial worries, it may be health, it may be work concerns. Those things can steal peace from us, but the good news is, is that there is a way forward in that, in a daily practice of receiving from God. The second thing I want you to do is to imagine Jesus sitting beside you in that little boat. Jesus, Jesus the creator of everything, Jesus the author of love, Jesus the redeemer, beside you in that boat that you are not alone and as he sits beside you I would just suggest that you give those things that may be making that sea bumpy that sea unsteady give those things to Jesus and I want you to pass them over and what you'll see in your picture in your mind's eye is that as you pass those things to Jesus they become dust in his hands because Jesus has paid the price for that. Jesus has gone before us and so therefore by his grace, by his bloodshed, by his resurrection into new life we can receive that peace that only comes from him. The third part of the visualisation is to then imagine where that will take you. Um, so here you are, Jesus is beside you, you're in your little boat, and where is the harbour that God would like to take you to? Where is that place of sanctuary and security that you need? We are the hands and the feet of Jesus. And so, as we uh, come to him, we also serve him and you'll find that maybe your harbour is in friends and loved ones. Is your harbour in the beauty of creation? Is your harbour in um, a quiet moment of prayer? Is your harbour in a passion for a hobby or an interest that you have? These are all things that the Holy Spirit uses, but there are reasons why we don't allow the Holy Spirit to impart peace to us. Now just think for a moment, stay with a little boat, and think, what's the cargo in my boat? You see, in my boat, I have precious cargo. I have family, I have anointings and callings that I feel God has brought me to. I have a love for the world and wanting to make an impact to that. I carry lots of different things in my boat and that's okay. God can help us carry those things but if I'm honest there's a big sack of guilt in my boat. It's massive and 
no matter how many times I keep turfing it out, giving it to Jesus, often when I sit down and do this visualization for myself, it's back there in my boat. <laughs> and I don't need to feel that. I don't need to feel that guilt. Not because I've never done anything wrong and I'll never do anything wrong again. Not because I'm superhuman and I'm beyond these things of ever having made mistakes. But actually, these things have been taken by Jesus. And so I'm going to give him that guilt today. So have a think about what's in your boat. What is that cargo? There will be precious cargo that needs to be carried in that boat, but there might also be other cargo. It could be a hurt as powerful as the day you bore it. It could be a disappointment that, that drags you down. It could be a physical health affliction which you just can't get through. And just as you keep with the picture of the boat, imagine the sail now and imagine something written on that sail. What is it you want the wind of the Spirit to blow on? What is it you need God to blow on and to touch in your life? I'm going to write on my sail in my visualization, keep trusting in God's love. Because when I really think about it, when I stop and pause, I know that God's love is enough for my family, that God's love is enough to cover my mistakes and my worries and my insecurities. But what's on your sail? It could be, please help me move on from this hurt or rejection. It could be, please blow onto my life and heal me of this affliction. It could be, please give me new vision because I've lost my way. It could be so many things, but it's only as we are real with God and that we invite him in and be aware of these things that God's spirit can move. And so allow him to take you to that harbor and let's go to the harbor now. The harbor which you feel is your harbor, that harbor that is a harbor just between you and God in your unique relationship with him. It may be that in this visualization that you've placed yourself in a particular way, in a particular place, in a particular situation. I can't promise you that you will not feel the storm again. I can't promise you that you will not encounter anxiety or fear or disturbance in your soul again but what I can promise you is that the harbour is always there that the harbour of God's peace we are promised is a harbour that surpasses all understanding it's not a gift which just fits one situation it's a gift that fits all situations and so my prayer for you is that in whatever you're going through that you will find your harbour today and all days and all times and that you will know more and more of this peace that God promises us. like to use that um, meditation on peace and you would like to use the images that I've shown you today uh, these paintings will be on our website free for you to print out and use in your own churches there are also a couple of meditations which we will give you the links for below if you would like some more meditations on peace please do take a moment to subscribe or to like or to comment on our channel. Uh, it's lovely to hear from you. Uh, but until I see you again, may God hold you in the palm of his hands.